Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The BB News. I know it's been a while. Sorry, Nisana, Tafadali. Uh, but we are back with something, something great to talk about. And guys, look at us. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My guy. Dennis. Marcy. Yeah, yeah, we're here. And today, what are we discussing? Challenges what? facing youths in our churches. Yeah, today. Yes. So, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much. We mm. love you a lot. And comment, like, and share. Please, please, please. Yeah. yeah. Now, welcome to our discussion. Yes. <laughs> our hot table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what do you think about the topic today? challenges facing the youth i think it's a it's a it's a great topic mm -hmm. uh you guys you're welcome to tell us more about challenges that you guys are facing in your different churches yes feel welcomed mm. yes all right uh, that's a e topic kuna challenges mobile on face kwa church as as, uh, as the young people mm. the youths uh, okay say church imekuwa na tumekuwa church imekuwa na a lot of things that is that are happening and of course uh, people have uh, not been able to identify the light uh, the light place kwa worship so the first thing that uh, could be a challenge is identification of the light place of worship yeah true and uh, what is the gospel what is this christianity lifestyle that we are talking about mm -hmm. yeah so um it all comes from how we are brought up mm -hmm. and uh, the type of belief that is instilled in us yeah true yeah, because uh, I know that, uh, what I know is that, the, like the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Yeah. It's only the truth that you know mm -hmm. that sets you free. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a certain level of knowledge, then you are bound to be in bondage of, uh, in terms of wisdom. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Yeah. Continue. That is very true. Eh? Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, because uh, the, if if you instill the right knowledge on 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 a young man mm. or the night uh, when you steal the right knowledge in a young man, you 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 you, you expect him to thrive. So uh, basically, it's the teachings that we have in in the churches because right now we have a religious way of. We, we we have a church that is so religious. They think that uh, they, they they act in this uh, this form of called the mentality. Uh, what do we call it? We call it uh, we call it the performance based mentality. Mm -hmm. Performance based mentality is where the church tells us that uh, God responds to our actions, mm -hmm. which is not true. God does not respond to our action. Do you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, do you know if if we would tell people the truth and tell them that God is not affected with your sin, mm -hmm. God is not affected with your goodness. Mm -hmm. He remains to be God, whether mm -hmm. you are a good person or you are a bad person. Yeah. So the churches today cannot be able to explain this in a very simple way because they want to tell us that uh, for you to to be this, do you know? By the way when you look at it very closely mm -hmm. as i was doing my bible study one day i came to realize that uh, the bible has primarily been been written by murderers moses was a murderer yeah moses was a murderer yeah, true. david was a murderer yeah. look look at paul paul was a murderer yeah, you, you, you see there's there's nobody God has ne has nobody that is qualified working for him. Yeah. So if we if we would sit down as, as young people and tell people the truth mm. and tell them that it doesn't matter what you have gone through or what type of sin you have done, mm. 
Yeah. God can still use you mm-hmm. even at your worst. Nobody has qualified to work for God. Yeah. Yeah, so we so we've right been denied now the, the truth. Against those yes, they, so much that they are driving the youth away. Yeah, they've they've hidden the truth from the people. Yeah, yeah, and they, they now they've now brought this religious way of thinking and uh, and this religious teaching of of works. They tell you that God responds to what you do. God does not respond you to do to what you do. Mm-hmm. You know, there are churches they say that when you fall sick, it's because you have. You have wronged. <laughs> it's because you have wronged. And you think God moves by feelings. God does not move by feelings. Mm-hmm. Yes. He loved That's us. Powerful. He died. Yes. God does not move by feelings. God are moving in my feelings. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Preach. God. Preach, my guy. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh-huh. This world is held together by the integrity of the word of God. Wow. This world is held together by the integrity of the word of God. Mm-hmm. What I mean by this is that whatever God says mm-hmm. is a contract and it cannot be undone with. Mm-hmm. When he said, I'm going to create a man in, in my own image and likeness mm-hmm. and let him have dominion over, every, okay. over everything in this earth. Yeah. That is what he meant. Yeah. Every word that comes out of God's mouth mm-hmm. is a contract. And that is why even in Proverbs it says there is always the power of tongue. Because God created everything through the word. Through the word. And that's why the Bible says, and God said, let there be Mm. power of tongue. So he created man and gave him dominion over everything. Mm. And that is giving him authority. Mm -hmm. And when he said he created an exact image, uh, uh, an image of him, it means that he created an exact spiritual image and give that that spiritual being a human or, or a physical body so that it can dominate on the earth. Mm. And there's someone who asked me, if God is that powerful, why did he take all those years mm. to become a man? Mm. And, 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 and why did he have to do what he did? Mm. Why did he wait to be, to be a man? Why wouldn't he say, because he's God, why wouldn't he say, Satan, we are done away with you and I kill you right now. Mm. It's because God, God's word, the integrity of the God word is what governs this world. Mm. And when he have given dominion and authority to man, mm-hmm. he cannot take it away. Yeah. And for you to dominate in this world, you have to have a physical body. Mm. You see, man is a spirit with a body yeah. and a soul. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So if for you to dominate in this world, that's why when people die, mm-hmm. we don't we don't just die. It is our physical body mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. departs, that that uh, that dies. Eh? Mm-hmm. But our spirit is always alive. Our mm-hmm. spirit never dies. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So uh, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as as God, mm-hmm. He had to become a man. So that he can gain the authority that he had given to man Mm -hmm. and dominate the world. And now as man, he died at the cross, Mm -hmm. made you righteous, made you absolutely clean. Mm -hmm. When you believe in him, you become a a holy being, Mm -hmm. not based on your works. Urafikiria huyu relationship yake na Mungu haiko poa haiko poa and you're judging it by what you see. Yeah. You understand? Mm. God does not do that. Mm. Whether you're drunkard or not, whether you are you are a thief, whether you are a murderer, he loves you. Amen. He loves you. Wow. And he calls you my son. You see, let me tell you, and, and, and some people will say, oh, what you're saying, does it mean that people should now live in sin and mm. should people live a drunkard lifestyle so that... No. You see, for instance, when you get drunk, mm-hmm. when you get drunk, mm-hmm. it does not affect God. Mm-hmm. It affects you. Mm-hmm. It will impair your judgment, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. You'll make poor decisions. Mm-hmm. And... You will not be blaming God and telling God, God, you did not bless me. God blessed you, but now you took your blessing 
and turned it to something that is not helpful. Mm. You understand? God has blessed you, mm. but you are not you have not seen it as a blessing. Mm. You see when you go and steal or when you go you and commit adultery. Mm-hmm. That will bring a, that is not that is not God's problem by the way. When you commit adultery it does not make God angry. It does not but you will attract because this is a physical body mm-hmm. and there are physical things that happen. So you are the one who is bringing that uh, negative vibe and that condemnation in you mm-hmm. that you are living under sin and God cannot relate to you because you are living under sin mm-hmm. and that is why uh, i think it's a book it, it is the book of hebrews that says come boldly into the throne of grace mm-hmm. you know boldness boldness is knowing that i'm going there without any guilt mm-hmm. i'm going there without any guilt <laughs> so these worldly things that happen they make us feel like we are guilty and we don't approach the throne of grace with boldness mm-hmm. and that is why most of us most of the christians who are living today are not receiving what they have been given by god and they blame god when i say me ni mungu amefanya ni kuwe mgojo sijui ni mungu amefanya huyu akufe god does not kill people you know if you read the bible clearly you see the work of the devil is to steal to kill and to destroy god does not kill the devil is the one that kills yeah. and first of all he takes you he he steals you mm. after stealing you he destroys you mm. after destroying you he kills you yeah. and if you look in the book of romans chapter 1 uh, uh, i think it's romans chapter 1 and verse 18 mm. it says that the love of god has been revealed against all ungodliness mm-hmm. so when someone sins you know that he's sinning yeah. do you know even those people who practice homosexuality know that that is wrong that is why they seek validation yeah. you see you seek validation mm-hmm. because you know what you you want it to be approved yeah. because you know it's not right mm-hmm. but you feel it you, it should be right mm-hmm. you understand yeah so when you commit a sin that sin and by the way in that in in, in, in i don't know how i can read it But in Romans chapter 1 and verse 18 hapo kuna sema the god uh, left them to a reprobate mind let me just check just give me a minute but i hope i, I hope you're together on this eh yeah. because uh, you see the type of the gospel that we are receiving in churches today is really controversial and uh, it is really hindering a lot of young people from understanding what the truth is yeah there's a lot of confusion there is a lot of confusion that yeah. you have to do this yeah. you you have to be like this and now this has denied a lot of people access and, and access to what god has given them yeah because uh, yeah verse 18 it says for the love of god is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness mm-hmm. and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of god is manifest in them for god has sowed it unto them for the visible thing of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that they are without excuse there is no excuse nobody who has lived in this world mm-hmm. can say that uh, there is no god mm. At, even even in this even the science You, you see these people try to do you know how stupid how stupid can you can you be to prove that something does not exist mm. and you, you you know you just believe it you, you know it's it's only something that does not exist does not exist mm. and you have zero information about it mm. so i cannot be able to prove that something does not exist mm. and i i don't know a, anything about it. Yeah. So for instance if I try to prove that this seed does not exist mm-hmm. I'd be stupid. Mm-hmm. Because recently I've seen it and I'm trying to mm-hmm. prove it that eh? but if I've never seen it mm-hmm. if I've never seen it mm-hmm. and you try to mm-hmm. tell me do you know of something like a seed I'll tell you it does not exist. Mm-hmm. So I have zero information about it. Mm-hmm. I cannot even imagine of what you give you're telling me. Mm-hmm. Yeah so um 
in verse uh, in verse 21 says because that when they knew God they glorified him not as God neither were thankful but became vain in their imagination and their foolish heart were darkened professing themselves to be wise they became fools professing them, themselves to be wise this is all that we are living today people are profess are calling good evil and evil good mm. they are professing themselves to be to be wise yet they are fools you see, homosexuality today is being celebrated. Mm. People are getting married in church. Yes, people are homosexuality are getting married in church. Oh you God. see, it's crazy. So and people are just okay with that. Yeah, they are calling evil good. They just want to validate that this is right. Yes, this is wrong. They, you know? they they are just there for validation. I guess it's because the church have failed to. Of course. To preach the true gospel, preach, yeah, yes, true. and to to share the true gospel, yeah. professing them to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of God of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, mm -hmm. and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Whereof God gave them up to uncleanness. Mm -hmm. God gave them up. God mm -hmm. gave them up. <laughs> 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 I'm even yeah. surprised it was, well. God gave them up mm -hmm. uh, to uncleanness mm -hmm. through the lust of their own hearts to disown their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator this is even talking about money if all you think about is money if you wake up to look for money you're worshipping a creature mm. other than God. Mm. And that is why you see, the Bible says you cannot serve two masters. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Let's continue. Uh, who is blessed forever, amen. For this cause, that is verse 26, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of man, burned in their rust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the lycopens of their ella, which was met. And even as they did not like to detain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Do you know God when when you when you don't allow God to work in your life, when you don't give your life to Christ, and that is what being born again is all about, mm -hmm. giving your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. It is you not making your own decision mm -hmm. and letting Christ live in you mm -hmm. and through you. Mm -hmm. If you don't give your life to Christ, mm -hmm. God gives up. To, as a matter of fact, in the book of Deuteronomy, he says, today I've given you power, a uh, blessing and curse. Mm -hmm. I've given you power to choose. And he even gives you a solution. He says, choose life. I've given you life and death. Choose life. So as a human being, as a physical human being, as long as someone is breathing mm -hmm. and you can be able to talk, and you have the authority to choose what you want. Mm -hmm. You are the decision maker. Mm -hmm. of what you want to see in your life. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uh, the decisions that you make are the ones that determine mm -hmm. how your life will be mm -hmm. as a human being. Yeah. So I think uh, the church today and the present church is really denying us the truth. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's very important to know the truth because, for instance, for me, like right now, I've, uh, I've had like seven years of whereby I've really come to understand about God in a different way that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought this God is an agri God. Yeah, it, it's driving people away from Yeah, church. It, of course it drives people away from church. Yeah. And uh, it now gives people more and it gives that is not the gospel. Yeah. Yeah, because the gospel is a good news. Mm. It is the too good to be true news. Mm. News that is beyond our imagination. Because, for instance, you see, 
when you are a sinner mm-hmm. you have committed look at Paul someone who persecuted the church mm-hmm. someone who killed who killed people mm-hmm. seeing that he is the righteousness of God in Christ na hapa wewe kitu umefanya umekunywa glass moja ya taska unasema Mungu hata hizi kusikia kwa sababu umekunywa taska you you we we need we need we need we need, we need, to, we need, to, we need to understand eh yeah. God God does not work like that God does not work like that eh? <laughs> me, okay you know it will, be, it will affect your health like, uh, alcohol is bad mm. the only thing alcohol does it's sometimes it's make it makes you do things that you didn't want to do yes because una joke kikunyo na jisa how of course and you mm. make poor decisions yeah. it will affect you yeah. and it will affect your physical it's being not bad you Nuggets. see let me tell you when you, the bible says when you got born again mm-hmm. your spirit was sealed and sanctified mm. sealed and sanctified that means you will never backslide mm. unajua kuna kuna hizi bado za ati uliokoka then you backslide mm-hmm. the moment you get born again mm-hmm. your spirit is 100% sanctified mm-hmm. and sealed mm-hmm. you are completely born again mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. but your body is never born again mm-hmm. and your soul yeah. is never born again mm-hmm. whatever is born again is in the spirit mm-hmm. and that is why in the book of romans chapter 8 it says there is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit if you walk after this after the flesh there is condemnation condemnation is just not uh, uh, condemnation haiko if you walk after the spirit so man is a spiritual being with a body and a soul and he was given a body for him to phys- physically manifest in this world but we are spiritual beings we are not we are not physical beings with a spirit we are spiritual beings that were given bodies we are exactly like god we have the spirit of god in us that were given body to dominate in this world because f- you can only dominate in this world through a physical body Yeah. What do you you advise the church to do? Uh, my advice to the church is just to preach the true gospel mm-hmm. and to preach the true gospel as it is. And the youth tell something. The youth youth bana mchangamke alafu there's a way you can you can do your own bible studies. Yeah, true. Yes. There's a way you can do your own bible studies because mm-hmm. It is only the truth that you know that will set you free. The truth that you don't know will not set you free. Mm-hmm. So and the word of God is the truth. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the way the truth and life. Mm-hmm. So if the word of God is the truth, then dwelling in it is knowing Christ. So make sure that you enlighten yourself and you gain knowledge through the word of God because the word of God is the truth. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, as we wind up, Masi, can you tell something about the pastors and the preachers of the world today? Uh, <coughs> as Dennis has said, speaking mm-hmm. the truth, mm-hmm. uh, pastors should speak the truth. Also, I think uh, challenges facing the youth in our church, I think it can also nepotism. Mm-hmm. Do you know that uh, some churches, they do practice nepotism. Mm-hmm. They do favor their own people mm-hmm. rather than them others okay As most of our churches mm-hmm. if we look here zinaendanga na level kuna church ya low class kuna church ya middle class na kuna church ya high class so utapata me maybe i'm i'm just a low class person nikienda easy high class churches ninaonekana nga like siji wewe sasa you are you Mm-hmm. Ata kama it's a church mm-hmm. you you feel you are not appreciated yeah, in that not in that place so so you see mimi going there i will tell you some ah ile church ni amadosi yeah nitaanza ku feel ni kama i'm mm-hmm. not needed yeah, true, so true, you see true, true, true. yeah so 
na hiyo nepotism sana sana in, the, in this churches mm. mtu unapata kuna chance ya kwenda maybe maju such because they want all of their family to go you are left behind mm. yes so in our churches let us not practice nepotism mm. kindly so i want to the youth ah. to the church to come <laughs> but it's not a must for you guys to go to the church as mm. long as you are born again you know that the, uh, that there is a living god that is helping you to sleep to yeah. wake up and do everything mm. and let us not take god for granted yeah. yes as they wind up so yes for me i believe that everything that they have said it's true so you guys you just know who you are and you just know what you want with your life and uh yeah please be born again <laughs> and please 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 try as much as to read your bible mm-hmm. it will help you in making a lot of decisions mm-hmm. so today that has been our topic mm-hmm. it has been an interesting one and i know I, uh, there is much to talk about but please bear with us uh tim it's not on our side yeah and by the way before we leave we'll be having an event and we'll be discussing such such things mm-hmm and uh we'll be sharing the word of god with you yeah so we'll be creating an event and we'll keep you posted yeah yeah and um, our host here will keep us on toes on yeah, that but yeah it's a good idea we can even start a bible study we, yeah once in a once in a while to a way today it's all yeah. about the bible absolutely it's all that about uh gaining knowledge that's true yeah uh, nice so we'll create that channel for you guys and for us also to grow yeah we love you guys so 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 much and we want people to know the truth thank you till next time Ciao. bye please don't forget to subscribe like comment and, and share, share. News. Broadcasting Business News.